What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. I get this question a lot is, Mark, can you show us the back end of VIP Shop Management, the reports and all that? And uh, I, I know I made videos in the past, but we definitely need a, like a, a summary video of what VIP does in the back end from reports to your balance sheet, your daily report and all that. So let's check it out. First thing first uh, to do this, there was, we see the reports right there, just click on that. Uh, our reports are required, uh, are, uh, is protected by passcode. Uh, unlike ShopMonkey and, and TechMetric, anybody can get in behind your computer, can see how much you're making money. That's the difference between shop owners making, well, in my case, shop owner making VIP shop management and, and programmers don't know what the hell is going on, what, do they, what, what shop owners need or not. You need a passcode. You don't want in somebody. What if your relative came in and, and just clicked on your reports with Shop Monkey or, or Shop Key or any of them? VIP Shop Management have a passcode. It's protected with passcode. Once you come in here, well, let's talk about the monthly report before anything. The monthly report, which is I suffered when I was selling, when I when I was selling at Amazon VIP Shop Management, I couldn't find a way where it shows me like how much I'm selling between January, February, March, April in a beautiful way that quick, easy, my brain can can understand. So I can see, okay, well May I wasn't selling much. What happened in May and then June and July? So that's how VIP Shop Management break down the whole year for you one month at a time to show you how much you're making money. I mean, if you were selling 112,000 right there in September and you went down to 80, when, well, you better find out what happened here. You better have like something and, and what, what happened then, look, it followed to 76, then we went back to $100,000. I've transferred jobs from 40,000 to over 100,000. I, I mean, they did their part, but uh, VIP Shop Management helped them to see the vision you got to be able to see the vision that you can go higher than 40 and 50 and, and 30 and all the way so so i mean that's how it, first when you go there it notice that it takes you directly to 2022 and it shows you january and february the current month where you at um if you just click right there it's going to show you 2021 and if you click more so you can compare the whole year so quickly between 2020 21 2022 if you need more details where these numbers, just click on more details. It'll break it down exactly where these numbers come coming from. So that's our monthly report. Our daily report is even more important. Why is that? Because I need to know how much I'm making money each day. That's very important. And then we have it in the simplest way possible. Unlike TechMetric and ShopMonkey, they use the, the big terms that nobody understands. I'm going to tell you a story about this. I was an A student in the, in the, uh, when I came when I moved to the United States. I was an A student uh, uh, in math. I took calculus one. I got an A. Uh, I was in the dean list twice in math, and I took an accounting class after that. I was like, you know what? It's the same thing like math. And uh, the first I remember the first test, I got uh, I got an F. And I remember the the instructor came in and with a big smile on his face, his hand in me. Uh, the, 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 the paper that I got an F, you know, has no faith. People, most people have no faith. So I did something for him. I got him in trouble. Uh, so me and the, there's some two or three people behind me got an F too. So I raised my hand and I came up to this. Well, just to let you know, the reason I got an F because I didn't buy the book. And I thought uh, accounting is just like math. So I raised my hand. Excuse me, sir. It's like, yes, well, what's going on, Mr. Ismail? I was like, well, just to let you know, I did study and I did everything I could and I got an F and I see you, you're happy about it. So can you explain to me what, I'm, what am I doing wrong? And the moment I said that, the people behind me raised their hand the same thing. He felt, he, his face turned red, I remember, and he, he freaked out. I, the only thing, I didn't care, it wasn't my fault actually for me to get an F. But the, the, the smirk on his face, the way he's giving me, he's excited that he got an F. So where I went, I went and bought the book and the next, uh, and the second test, I got an A and I ended up getting an A in his class. So the reason I'm saying, okay, so accounting in, in the United States is very confusing. But what I did for you, let's, let's talk about, let me just finish from this page. So you can see your daily, today's sales right here. You can see yesterday's sales. And you can see day by day, you can change the date and go to any date you want. Uh, you can see them how they're broken down, where the money is coming from. 
you can switch to weekly you can see by week how much I'm making money each week and you can see by month January February all the invoices and custom and yearly so the whole thing you have more full control of seeing what's going on at your shop um, sales tax obviously is right there is broken down it's custom you can cho choose from what date to what date um, you can see your tax exempt and all that um, fees are right here like if you have like emission and safety and credit card fees you can track those right here um, parts uh, purchase orders and subcontractors and all that analysis right here just to see like how many AC recharge or alignment whatever code or even towing and you can switch like last year or you can see the whole the last five years of what's going on um, between like how many towing did I do between 2017 to 2023 so it kind of compares the last five years but all this all this I put it aside for one thing that I did that no shop management has dared to do which is called balance sheet no shop management has dared to do which is called balance sheet every shop management are so scared of the IRS or, or whatever it is to create a balance sheet and uh, let me show what I'm talking about so what is the balance sheet okay well what is accounting anyway which is something that people scared of and the terms of it it's really complicated but accounting can be simplified before it gets complicated accounting is how much you sold how much the expenses what is the net profit as simple as that and then you can take it to the accountant and he can convert these numbers to uh, uh, to the complicated numbers between the IRS and your state but that's not before it gets to this part it is your job as a shop owner to understand your your revenue how much you're making money so let, let me show you what I'm talking about let's that, let's make one so we, the way we designed that accounting that nobody did if you look let me move this if you look right here so you can go each month you can create the, the balance sheet for each month and I if you're not doing this I promise you, you're in trouble because you don't know your numbers if you don't know your numbers you will lose in this game you've got to know your, your numbers you've got to know how much you're selling what is your expenses and what is your net profit so if you look next to right there VIP shop manager will automatically put the net sales right there for you automatically and the expenses and the net the reason net profit is the same because total expenses um, uh, is zero but I'm gonna show you how you add expenses so quickly so net sales is uh, like I said accounting the basic version of accounting is your sales minus expenses equal the net profit there's nothing to it it's the simplest equation ever existed and then that take this this balance sheet to the number I I've used I use this I use this for my accounting and nobody dares to not accept it nobody nobody not even the IRS they accept it but before you get to that you will need the accountant why do you need that account because there's different forms that need to be filed for the states and you can do that yourself but the problem for you to do all these forms it's not even worth the $150 that you're gonna pay your accountant so pay him, pay him the $150 and let him do his job because he keeps up with this stuff but states and federal always changing things and he needs to keep up with this stuff so let him file all this stuff but your job as a shop owner is to understand the numbers you need to know what's your net sales you need to know what's your expenses you know you need to see a list of the expenses so here's what I, so here's how uh, how uh, the, the net sales so let's go back right here and we're gonna do the balance sheet me and you for for January right let's say we never do the balance sheet for for a month that has not ended yet you can only do the balance sheet for ja for a month that has ended January we sold 97,000 so we're gonna go back to balance sheet uh, we're gonna go back to January we're gonna see net sales right there 97,000 nobody did this except me 97,000 all right so how we have a bonds called auto populate monthly expenses what does that mean let's go to monthly expenses first monthly expenses are the fixed or the same bills that you pay every month from rent credit card the DTE the energy like you know the, the electric bill water bill cable bill account those are fixed monthly bills that you ne they're never gonna change you have to pay them regardless alarm whatever 
So what you need to do, you need to, let's add one, for example, let's say, where else, uh, Bill, let's, let's say int internet bill. Well, let's say shop management, right? Shop management. And uh, we have a category, which is, that's from the IRS, the same category that the IRS uses. And let's say, well, this goes under software and subscription. Let's say VIP shop management, $99, and you pay it by card, right? And can click add. So that's, that's shop management expense that you pay every month. So you can add as many expenses as you want. Once you finish, this is the beauty, once you finish, you click on auto populate. Auto populate, it fills everything automatically because those are fixed. If I want to add another one, I could. Uh, if I want to edit any of these, let's say, you know what, this month I did not pay the water pill, I had to pay it with a check, just come in and edit it. And if we look right there, so we can see net sales, 97000 and and total expenses, 8000 So it kind of calculated this, and you can print this, and it looks beautiful. Literally, we came up with a solution that helps everybody. You can take this, print it out, and take it to your accountant. And if your accountant doesn't accept that, you have a problem with you. You might need a new accountant. I've seen every accountant across the United States and Canada accepting this. Why? Because they have to. They have, it's not even an option. You yeah, have to. I, had a, I was speaking to a lady at last time and she was like, well, you know, what, what happened in case of an audit? I was like, okay, so what do you mean what happened in case of audit? I was like, what happened in case of audit? She's like... Well, uh, you know, we need to import everything in QuickBooks. I was like, what happened with QuickBooks in case of an audit? She's like, well, yeah, they can see the invoice, invoices right here. I was like, well, we can see the invoices right here too. What's the difference between QuickBooks and shop, VIP shop management? Did the IRS says, hey, you must use QuickBooks? She said, no. But that's, that's the weakness, man. It's the fear. It's the, the idea of thinking that, you know, you might cheat. The person who's going to cheat on VIP shop management will cheat on QuickBooks. It's no difference. So we have all the invoices. You can export the invoices if you need to. God forbid that you can export these invoices to a summary of all these invoices to, uh, to an Excel file. God forbid you, you lost your data or something. But there is no need. I keep continue to say there is no need for QuickBooks, you gotta upgrade. You don't be scared. If you're scared of this, you're gonna no, you're never gonna be a millionaire. I, I can sign my life on it. But you gotta be like in a way that if, if the IRS came up, you gotta be ready for them. You can say, yeah, this is how much I sold. Yeah, go check the bank as go, and this is how much I sold. That's a summary for it. You gotta be ready. Anyway, so I think this is pretty cool. I mean, I think we have the coolest reports ever existed why because this is designed for my shop before anything the way i design reports i knew if somebody behind the computer i don't want them to be able to access my numbers i don't care who he is i don't care if he's an employee i don't want him to access my numbers and you make the decision i don't know i don't know what to say if you're still using shop monkey or shop or shop key or you got bigger issues anyway appreciate you guys until next time thanks for watching